Mark just ran by us and Crystal said, next person who pets it is going to get a surprise. But the first thing you said was, is that something dead in your mouth? Is that something dead in your mouth? And it was. It was the spine of some dead animal. That's awesome. Check out my coworkers for the week. <laughs> a few months ago, a friend of mine, uh, Celine, who her side hustle, she's so awesome. Her side hustle is she runs a nonprofit called Chatterbox. <laughs> any kind of question. Questions like, will I die if I eat this? What is this plant growing in the ground? Those types of things. Because of how she grew up and she just has practical knowledge on so many random things. I love that shit. So, when I was trying to figure out what to do for the vlog this week, I was like, Crystal, teach us some stuff. So these are, it's red buds? Yeah, they're red buds. And then will it leaf? Yeah, Okay. heart shaped leaves. Oh, I see it. Yep. It comes out from here. Yep. There's also one over there. There are multiples right in here. Who laid this here? My great grandparents. So wait, this was a part of a structure. Yeah, it was okay. a little house. It was a little square house. And it's where they kept their milk. So yeah, you kept everything. So you bring your crockery down, yep. which is why we keep finding pottery down here. Yep. And you'd submerge it in that would keep it cold. The Sorry. spring's somewhere under our feet. Artesian, yes. And it just, in a hundred different places, comes up. Mm -hmm. And watercress only grows in cold, free-flowing water. Is that what this is right here? Yes. Wow. It's peppery like a radish. Peppery like a radish. Uh -huh. Woo! So again, in early spring, ooh, when you're vitamin deficient and you're looking for the first growing things that you can eat, that's why watercress is valuable. How do you identify it? You just know what it looks like. Okay. Well, and so you're looking, this you're looking, is watercress. Yeah, you're looking in an area with very cold, running water. Running spring water, okay. not hot water. if you will to get a little peace and quiet and enjoy a slower life but I think more hilarious drama has happened since I've been here than ever does when I'm at home first day I was here my friend's dad told this hilariously rambling story we talked about every in five minutes we talked about everything from beef prices to soybeans to how many of his heifers were pregnant uh, that was crazy then it was like, you have a list, a checklist, and you cannot leave the house without a walking stick, your telephone, the garage door opener, and by all means, you do not listen to music because you have to be able to hear the people around you. Then I randomly ran into some turkey hunters. So many things happened on the first day I was here that we had to write them down on a legal pad. Oh, I learned that the bobcats, naturally, come out at twilight so I was not to walk uh, anywhere around twilight because that's when the bobcats come out. Then on day two a cat had a litter of five kittens and made the craziest faces I think I've ever seen another animal make. I shouldn't make fun of it but it's nuts. Oh I also learned the property migration habits of coyotes. Oh yeah it's cannibalism. It's calcium. That is uh, sorrel, wood sorrel. This? Uh-huh. Okay, what does it do? 
Um, you can eat it? You can eat it. We'll, okay. it'll, it'll bloom and then come back year after year. And like for early spring salads, if you were going to forage, you get some sorrel. Oh, you want to eat it? Oh, yeah, okay, eat we're going to eat it. Good. Bitter. Kind of like a um, sour patchy. I'm going to have to have my Oh. That's really delicious. Mm -hmm. My grandmother taught me how to hunt those. Purple ones. Mm -hmm. And leave the green ones alone till they become mature enough to be the purple. Mm -hmm. You just pick it. Mm hmm and eat it? Yeah, because I don't have any chemicals or anything. I need to eat it. That's really good. Oh, no. What is that? That is a trillium. Does it bloom? Yes. Right here? Yeah, and it's okay. a native. No, some bloom white, some bloom yellow. Okay. All of ours bloom burgundy here. That's awesome. And they use gnats as pollinators. You usually see the purple ones. Uh -huh. It's a yellow dog tooth violet. That's a native. Huh. And now they're seashells. Mussel shells. We have freshwater mussels. Huh. Well, that was a fun adventure. Always be filming. Always. Especially when you fall in, yeah?